It is now time to continue our discussion of the GNS model by going into the narrativist playstyle. The essay itself describes narrativism as being both the least and most problematic to describe. This is because it is very easy in application, but very difficult in discussion. Narrativism, Ron Edwards writes, is expressed by the creation via role-playing of a story with a recognizable theme. The characters are formal protagonists in the classic lit 101 sense, and the players are often considered co-authors. While any of the styles can produce a story, narrativism describes its focus as story now. So what's that saying exactly? Well, what it means is that at least one engaging issue or problematic feature of human existence must be addressed in the process of role-playing. This will involve creating the shared imagined space of the game, developing the conflict, perhaps by changing it or providing depth, and resolving the conflict through the decisions of the protagonist, sometimes allowing for external influences as well. As well, in narrativist games, the premise must be front-loaded, focusing on the theme through the events in play. Some of this essay harkens back to system matters. For example, it is particularly important in narrativist play that the mechanical focuses on resolution instead of task. As well, authority of the fiction is less of an issue. This is because the fiction only serves the premise of the game. Like all styles of play, those of the more narrative focused do have their issues as well. This can be at the player level, whenever one does not embrace the premise during play or takes the ideals of the style too far. Some may have an unwillingness to share the telling of their character's story with the other players. Due to the focus on resolution, it's very easy to move through conflicts too quickly and miss the important details of them. And finally, narrativist games are often written in ways that can be easily exploited because authority is often shared. They simply assume that players will respect each other and the narrative. There are advantages to this style of play, however. It's often very easy for those new to the hobby to understand the style and rules of these types of games. Additionally, without this style of play, certain people would not have an interest in the hobby at all, and the role-playing game community would lose these voices entirely. As with my video about the game's style of play, there's much more that can be learned about this than even I provide in the links below. In our final episode on GNS, we will look at the simulationist style of play. Relevant links are below, and as always, I hope that your next game is even better than your last.